What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Let's jump right on in and start talking about this Frontier RT 3049 rotary tiller. Now, first thing that we'll break down, whenever you are looking at Frontier attachments for your equipment or Frontier implements rather, whenever you are looking at the model number, a lot of times the first two digits are gonna help you indicate what type of machine that is. So for instance, this is a rotary tiller. It's gonna start with RT. Now, the next two digits, those are usually gonna indicate the strength or durability of the equipment. So you could have an RT10, RT20, RT30, RT40, for example. So this is a 30, meaning it's gonna be on the upper end of the durability of these machines. And then the last two digits here are going to indicate the width of the machine. So this is gonna be a 49 inch tiller. Now, what I have this machine hooked up to is going to be the John Deere 1025R. Reason being is, is that this tiller is just wide enough to cover the tracks of a 1025R. So if you have a 1025R, or 1023E, this is gonna be the size of tiller that you're going to need for your operation. Sometimes these little tractors get knocked for the amount of capacity that they have, meaning that they are not capable of handling certain attachments, certain implements, and maybe they're not as versatile as what you may need. But this is gonna be a good example to show you that this RT3049 tiller does a great job tilling up and making that seed bed. So if you're that person that you do a garden every year, You've got a spot that you like to go out and make deer plots uh, to be able to plant stuff for your deer season. Or maybe you just have some ground you need tilled up because you're getting ready to completely rework it, maybe lay some new sod, lay a driveway, whatever those things are, this is going to be a great machine for that. As you can see behind me, we've got this area that we had tilled up here. And I can tell you, we are in Western Oklahoma on this really hard red dirt right here. And this tiller had absolutely no problem going through this and tilling this up. I had this set on the second most aggressive setting, which I'll show more about those here in a minute as those skid shoes are adjustable. And it tilled right through this, no problem. Did four passes here, really more three, and then kind of combined them all together. Left some skip rows in between, went back and forth, and we got a really good dig on this. Now, this machine is rated to do a digging depth of zero inches, which would be just skimming the top of the ground down to 2.8 inches. But I can tell you, after tilling this up, going back, digging down a little hole with my hand there, and then sticking the tape measure in, we had about four inches of fluffy red dirt there on top. Now, keep in mind, once you were to step on that and compact that, that's probably where you're gonna get closer to your two to 2.8 inch mark, which we weren't even all the way down at the most aggressive. So you still have the chance of going a little deeper with this machine. Now, as far as ratings go, this machine here is going to be rated for 18 PTO horsepower. So you need to make sure that if you're looking into this RT 3049, you have at least 18 horsepower at your rear PTO, which on the 1025R, you have right about 18 and a half. So we are right at the top end of this. Now, a couple of things about this machine itself. As far as maintenance goes on this machine, pretty low maintenance. You are going to have two points you're gonna to have to check for oil. Over on the right-hand side, we're gonna have one gearbox over here, and then we're gonna have our main gearbox on top here. We need to make sure that we are checking those oil levels. We need to make sure that on our output shaft here, that we are making sure that we are lubricating that from time to time, taking that off, getting some good grease on there also making sure on the end that goes to our tractor we're making sure lubricating that when we're taking this implement off making sure that's staying covered and out of the way then also over here on your left hand side you are going to have an oil point as well this is where all of your gears are going to be that your shaft runs out to this is going to run down to the gears that is essentially going to run your time bar now one thing that gets asked a lot is, are the tines replaceable on these tillers? Yes, they are. They are gonna be bolt-on tines. They are gonna have a left-hand curve and a right-hand curve. So if you need to change those out, you need to just make sure that you are getting the right curve one to replace the one that you are missing or that you've bent or broken, whatever's happened to that. Now, what you're also gonna have over here on the left-hand side is you are gonna have this little drop stand here. So whenever you set this machine down, you can drop that drop stand. That's gonna 
going to hold that up make sure to keep it up and into place so that your tiller is not trying to tip over when it's not in use now like we talked about before this does have adjustable skid shoes so right down here you're going to have this piece on either side here these are your skid shoes and if we look back here towards the back you're going to notice here that we have four different holes here in it this can be adjustable by removing that bolt sliding that up or down right here in the position we're in is going to be the second most aggressive and if we were to move that plate up one and put that bolt back in that's going to allow that tiller to drop further down into the ground to get an even more aggressive even deeper till so depending on what you're planning and how much of that topsoil you need to be broken up you can adjust this to make sure that you are getting exactly what you need now also here at the rear you are going to have this flap here this flap is going to have a free swing to it but it also has a chain on it that's not going to allow it to get away from you or be able to flip all the way up on top you just want to make sure that whenever you are using this machine that you have that in place to make sure that you're not throwing clods of dirt out the back keeping those around you safe now another nice thing about these rt 3049s is they are going to be iMatch compatible so if you do have an iMatch on your machine or if you don't know what an iMatch is i actually have a video over that i'll make sure to drop that down in the description below so that you can check that out but these are going to be iMatch compatible so that you can easily hook up and get straight to work with that iMatch by hooking this up hooking up your drive line and then you're good to go now how i have it hooked up is just manually so here at the three point i've got all three pins pinned to this machine so it is what we would consider hard mounted right now it's not on that i match but you can do it either way whichever works best for you it's quick simple to hook up either way you do it now this is obviously a very small example of what this machine can do but i went at this for about 30 minutes total once we kind of got our feet wet re-leveled the machine just a little bit which you can do with that top link just like you would with any other three-point attachment if you need to level it out change your digging depth of it change the way it's leveling hitting that ground you can do that with the top link and then like i said adjusting those skid shoes could also make a big difference whenever you're talking about depth that you're needing to get but this made a great seed bed out of this really hard oklahoma dirt very very easy to do now a few specs on this machine what you're going to be is you're going to be looking at around 520 pounds we talked about the fact that it does need at least 18 horsepower at the pto to run this machine you are going to have like i said those those depths from zero to 2.8 inches you're also going to have a one-year warranty on the machine itself and then a three-year warranty on the gearbox on top so make sure that if we're having any of those issues with that gearbox and we bring it in within those three years as long as it's a manufacturer defect you will be covered now price wise on this what you're going to see list price on deer.com is around $2,700 now what I would do is I would make sure go in talk to your salesman see if there are any discounts that are available any possible package pricing maybe you're needing to buy this machine and this tractor and there may be a discount if you package those up together make sure to ask about those and then also ask about additional coverage for this machine if one year just doesn't seem long enough to you see if there's an option to get that additional coverage from your dealership but overall guys i hope this video helps you out i hope that you like this video maybe this helps show you another tool that you need for your machine i hope that's the case if you guys enjoyed this video like this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are looking for more videos like this over more rear implements other attachments other john deere equipment make sure to check out the rest of our channel and as always guys thanks for watching We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.